All right, this is day 19 of me picking an album from this filter, working out to it, and giving my thoughts on it. This is a series I've been doing called Muscle Music, and I only do albums I've never listened to before. Uh, Liz, Fair, Exile, and Guyville. All right. I said All right, we're back from the gym. We did our Stairmaster Day, a little bit of extra cardio in there as well. Here are my thoughts on Liz Fair's Exile and Guyville. So I had no idea who Liz Fair was. I was actually pretty excited to do this review because I could read the the list beforehand and I saw this album on the list. I was like, huh, never really heard that uh, that name, that Liz Fair before. And um, for my limited research, she's from Chicago, or at least that's where this album kind of got its uh, its start. Um, very early 90s, I think it was 93 when this was released, and it's very kind of the, the beginnings of, like, indie rock, this very, like, lo-fi sound coming out of there, um, and it was okay, I wasn't a super big fan, I don't really consider this album to be, you know, a 10 out of 10 or anything, but it was, it was decent. There's a lot of elements in the production that are pretty skeletal, a lot of tracks will just be, you know, Liz with a guitar, whether it's acoustic or a very clean, like, plugged-in sound. And that's pretty much it. There could be another, you know, minimalistic production choice, whether it's like a shaker or a hand clap or some kind of like distant eerie sound. But for the most part, it's very skeletal, which kind of threw me off a little bit. But for the time, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, I know the kind of lo-fi sound is starting to pick up steam again, not in the same way as what Liz is doing on this, but, you know, a bit more of like a like a bedroom pop lo-fi aesthetic that's happening now. So I can understand why, you know, kids or teens at the time were kind of gravitating towards the sound. In terms of vocal delivery, I think she was okay. I think she had a lot of the same uh, characteristics as like a Stevie Nicks, just without that high range or energy at all. Um, this was almost like proto Alanis Morissette in a way. Um, I could see why Alanis might have drawn maybe a little inspiration from this. But um, yeah, those are what I'm drawing from her uh, voice. Overall, I thought it was pretty decent. It's nothing I was really head over heels about. I could see why it would lay the groundwork for other artists in the future, but, you know, on its face, it wasn't really doing a whole lot for me. So my favorite tracks have to go to Six Foot One, Stratford On Guy, as well as Never Said. That was probably my favorite. In terms of working out to it, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It was fine in a cardio setting, but if you're doing something a bit more high intensity, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, in terms of rating the album, I'm probably going to give it like a low to mid 6 out of 10. It was just enough to kind of get me going, but not enough to, to keep me around too long. Like and follow for more, unless this app gets banned. Goodbye!